What will my child need to bring to school each day? We expect all of our students to arrive at all Allsop wearing their correct full school uniform. That includes their correct tie, their blazer and polishable shoes. We don't accept any training shoes in all Allsop. We also expect our students to carry a bag that is a minimum of A4 sized. This is so that you can fit in all your equipment for the day and any books that you might need to take home for your homework. In terms of pencil cases, Year 7s you'll be given a starter pack and that includes two pens, a green pen, a pencil and a ruler and that, that'll give you a starting point. If you want to bring your own stuff that's perfectly fine so long as it fits inside your bag. We also expect you to bring any PE kit that you need for the day and any technology equipment that you might need. What if my child wants to cycle to school? Cycling to school is a great way to stay healthy and active and for that we do recommend it. However, we would make sure that students travel to school wearing a helmet to make sure that they're safe, that they arrive at school with a workable lock and that any lights on their bike are working, especially during the winter months. Bikes are left at their owner's risk and we do have points for around the site for where they can lock them up. What time do they have to be into school? Can I drop them off early if I have to go to work? School starts at 20 past 8 and we encourage students to be on site by this time. This will give them ample opportunity there to make their way over for their lineups, ready for the 25 past 8 bell where they'll make their way with their form tutors into the form class to start their day. If anyone would like to drop their child off a little bit earlier then that's not a problem. Where do I drop my child off each day? The student entrance at Allsop is in the Walton Village area. We expect all our students to arrive on time and safely. It's a very busy area and we, we need everybody to stay safe. So keep to the pavements. If you're on your bike, make sure you're stay, cycling in safe with your helmet on. How do I pay for trips and visits during the year? At Allsop we love our trips and visits and it's a big part of our enrichment. When a trip or visit is planned you will be given individual information on how you can pay at the time. This could be via parent pay or any other means. What do I do if I need to get an urgent message to my child during the day? Any messages that you need to pass on to your child during the day I would advise you to simply contact the school on 0151 235 1200 and speak to our office staff. They will then relay that message directly to your child on your behalf. What are the procedures if my child is given a detention? In all stop this year, we're using a, a platform called Class Charts. Class Charts will allow staff to issue a detention and a message being immediately sent to the parent or carer so you will be informed if your child is being given a detention straight away. How will we know about after school activities? The amount of after school activities at Allsop is extensive. Each department is encouraged to provide their own programme, uh, which is advertised on the school website and in and around school. There are also additional programmes that take place during uh, lunchtime, and there'll also be other opportunities before school during breakfast time, too. What do I do if my child forgot to bring something to school? If anyone has forgotten to bring anything into school, do not worry at all. You are more than welcome to drop it off at our main office and one of our members of staff will drop it off with your child for you. What do I do if we're late? If you're late, students have to attend school via the front entrance which is located on Queen's Drive. They will be met by a member of staff who will sign them in and then issue a behaviour point and also a detention via class charts. Parents and carers will get this message. Are mobile phones allowed? We understand that parents and carers want to know that their child is safe on their journeys to and from school. However, we expect that any mobile phone is put in their bags or in their blazer pockets as soon as students arrive at school. If a mobile phone is seen out during the school day on the school site, it will be confiscated by a member of staff. The student will be allowed to have the phone back at the end of the day. However, if it is the second or third time the phone's being confiscated, then a parent or guardian will have to come in and collect it. What do I need to do if my child is off sick or has a medical appointment? If your uh, child is, is ill, um, and they won't be attending school that day, we would encourage you to contact school as early as possible. Um, 
purely just to, to give us the heads up as to why your uh, child is absent. If you don't uh, call us early in the morning, chances are our attendance team will give you a call as soon as they are available. Um, and it's purely just for our records as we need to record any instances of absence. Um, if you have a medical appointment or your child has a medical appointment coming up, then we would encourage you to notify us uh, in advance of that date, uh, just so that we can give you official permission to miss school uh, to attend that appointment. How do I put money on my child's food account? Can I do this online? There are two main ways that you can add funds onto your child's account. You can firstly do it online on a platform called Parent Pay. You will have an individual login um, with, your child, with your child's details on there and you can add money on there by uh, bank transfer or direct debit directly into their account and that money will be deducted as and when your child spends that money. The second way is in as more of an old fashioned system whereby we have money bases around the school where the child will go to that base, put their fingerprint on or an individual code and they can manually add money onto their account. Who do I contact if I have a concern about my child? Initially it would depend on the concern. If the concern was based around a particular issue in a lesson, I would encourage you to contact the subject teacher individually first. The way that you would do that would be to contact the school and they would ask that particular uh, staff member to give you a call back. For any other type of issue, uh, potentially around um, any general queries that you would have, we would really encourage you to liaise and engage with your child's form tutor in the first instance. Our pastoral programme at All Shop is extensive and the relationships that are built with your form tutor will last, hopefully for the duration uh, that your child is at All Shop.